Happy Wednesday, my beautiful YouTube family. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a DIY basketball rack that really isn't that hard to execute. But before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here and to turn on bell notifications so I can bug you. And if you did not know already, I am hosting my first DIY workshop on July 29th in Studio City, California. The link to purchase some tickets are down below. For this build, you are going to need a power drill, wood screws, bungee cords, which you can grab from your dollar store, four wheels, you can have the option that they lock, I do, so two of them have the lock option and two of them do not, and then a quarter of an inch drill bit and then just a regular drill bit for your screws. For the wood pieces, you can actually get these cut right in Home Depot when you purchase a piece of wood. So you're going to need two 20 inch by 40 inch pieces for the side of the ball rack, two four by 30 inch pieces, like skinnier pieces of wood to connect the two pieces, and then one 20 inch by 30 inch piece of wood for the base of the rack. So since I'm making this for my dude, I went ahead and put a primitive logo on one side and then I put a Nike logo on the other side just to go with the theme of our house. I just freehand sketched it on with a pencil and then I took a paintbrush and your basic white craft paint that you can get from Michaels and just filled it in. While I let that dry, I went ahead and grabbed the bungee cords that I got from my dollar store. I got 10 of them. I ended up only using eight of them, but I should have used all 10, so please keep that in mind. You're gonna cut them open and then snip off the black sides because you're not gonna need the hook. Go ahead and repeat that to nine more of these, so you have 10 in total, but you're more than welcome to do way more or way less, it's up to you. Grab one side piece and grab your base, your wood screws, and your power drill. You're gonna line up the bottom of the side piece like where the baseboard would be and your baseboard because all you're going to do is legitimately just screw the wood screws directly into one piece through the other to connect them. Sometimes I personally have to pre-drill the screw into the wood to make sure it lines up properly before grabbing them and screwing them in, so that's what I did here. And then I just went ahead and reinforced it with multiple screws thereafter. Once you're done screwing that side in, you're just gonna flip it around and repeat the same thing with the other side. Once you're done with that, go ahead and screw a wheel into each corner. The base of my project is made out of pallet pieces, but you don't have to do that. You can just get a piece of wood custom cut at your Home Depot. Once you flip that project right onto the wheels, this is what you should have by now. The two sides, the base of the board, and for it to be able to swivel around. The skinnier pieces of wood that I mentioned earlier are gonna be where your bungee cords hook onto creating the cage. So you're gonna attach one to each corner, but first we need to drill some holes. Grab your quarter inch drill bit and your drill, your bungee cord, and your side pieces. And I also have a scrap piece of wood handy just because I'm gonna be drilling holes. It's very rare that I pull out a measuring tape, so so I just eyed this, so I drilled one hole per bungee cord that I wanted on each side. I wish I would have done five, but I only did four here. To make sure the holes lined up on each side, I just took the piece that I drilled holes through, set it on top of the other side piece, and then marked it with a pencil. Now that we have both pieces done, you're gonna go ahead and place one piece in one corner and screw a wood screw directly through the side piece into the actual like bungee cord piece to secure it. This is what it should look like now, and now we're just gonna add our bungee pieces that you're tying a knot to each end. So start out by tying a knot to one end of the bungee and feeding it through the little circles that we made, the little holes. Once you got that finished, you're gonna go ahead and see where they dangle and try to line them up the best you can and drill a hole directly through the baseboard right below the top hole to make a straight connecting like line with the bungee cord. <laughs> Once you have all those holes drilled into the baseboard, you're gonna go ahead and grab that bungee piece, pull it straight down, pull it through the hole and not underneath it as tight as you can. So now you've connected all the pieces to both sides which act as the sides of the basketball rack for easy access for the balls. So you're gonna go ahead and fill it up. Make sure that that bungee cord is tight enough. If it is not, you're gonna pull it even tighter and tie another knot, it's really simple actually, and then cut the excess off. Once I took a step back and looked at the finished product, I realized that the logos are missing something. I wanted them to pop more, so I actually outlined them in black. But you can put any kind of design or leave it plain. It's totally up to you. And there you guys have it. I'm not sure if all of you guys need a basketball rack. Some of you, none of you, but my household for sure needed one because the Primitive Squad just cannot get enough of 7-Up over at my house. So I had to make something for them. Easy access to the balls on both sides and easy put away. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give that video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys would like to see up next on my channel. I'll catch you next time.